So now, the next thing is now we're going to be condensing. So rather than going from one logarithm to many, we're going to go from multiple logarithms down to one. Now when we're condensing, you always want to follow the rules, um, or sorry, the um, order of operations. We always want to you know, do it inside parentheses and so forth first, and also always go from left to right. So if I'm going to go from left to right, you guys can see that these two are separated by addition. So therefore, I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 3 times 4 minus 2 log base 2 of x. Now, so, right. so now, you guys, obviously, we can multiply 3 times 4, right? Mm -hmm. So that becomes 12. And then the other thing is, remember, over here, remember when I'm expanding, I take the exponent and put it in front. Well, now when I'm condensing, I take whatever's in front and I rewrite it as the exponent. So therefore, I have log base 2 of 12 minus log base 2 of x squared. So it's kind of like the exact opposite of what I did in the other example. Does everybody see that? Nope, not yet. Because now, just like we had here, remember here we had our, they're separated by division, so we rewrote them as subtraction. Now we're doing it the opposite. We see them rewritten as subtraction, so we can rewrite them as one log separated by division. Di division. So therefore, if my final answer is log base 2, 12 divided by x squared. Oh, get it, Mr. Michael. I get it.